Good day everyone! Do you know how to run multiple operating systems in one computer? Today, I'm going to discuss what is virtualization software. I am going to show you how to run a virtual Windows 7 and Windows Server 2008 in a computer running in Windows 10 operating system. Let's define first some few terms. Virtualization it is the creation of a virtual rather than the actual version of something. Virtualization software. It allows single host computer to create and run one or more virtual environments. Operating system virtualization. The use of software to allow a piece of hardware to run multiple operating system images at the same time. So how does virtualization work? Virtualization creates several virtual machines, also known as virtual computers, virtual instances, virtual versions, or VMs from one physical machine using a software called hypervisor. Because these virtual machines perform just like physical machines while only relying on the resources of one computer system, virtualization allows IT organizations to run multiple operating systems on a single server also known as a host. During these operations, the hypervisor allocates computing resources to each virtual computer as needed. This makes IT operations much more efficient and cost-effective. Flexible resource allocation like this made virtualization the foundation of cloud computing. What are the different types of virtualization? Server virtualization. It uses a hypervisor to partition your physical servers into multiple virtual servers each running its own operating system. Networking virtualization. It works by splitting available bandwidth into independent channels, each of which can be assigned to a server or device as needed. Data virtualization. It enables an application to access and leverage data without requiring details like where the data is physically located or how the data is formatted. Storage virtualization. It is when the physical storage from multiple devices on a network is pulled together in a unified virtual storage device that's managed from a central console. App virtualization and desktop virtualization. With application virtualization, users can run applications in a separate form regardless of the operating system in use. This is commonly used to run a Windows application inside a Linux or Mac operating system. Desktop virtualization allows users to stimulate a workstation load in order to access a desktop remotely from a connected device such as a thin client at a desk. Now let's start making our own virtual machine. Let's start by downloading the virtualization software at Oracle VirtualBox website. Step number one, open any web browser to download the latest Oracle VM VirtualBox on their website www.virtualbox.org. Step number two, in their website, click downloads link step number three download the latest version of oracle vm virtual box by selecting from the different platform packages step number four locate your downloaded file and run the installer step number five install the oracle vm virtual box You have now successfully installed the virtualization software. Step number 6. Open the Oracle VM VirtualBox. 
Now let us start creating Windows 7 Virtual Machine. Step number 1. Click New to add a new virtual machine. Step number 2. Name the virtual machine, select the type and its version, then click Next. Step number 3. Set the memory to the recommended size which is 512 MB, then click Next. Step number 4. Create your virtual hard disk. Select the second option, Create a virtual hard disk now, then click Create. Step number 5. Select the hard drive file type, select the VDI or VirtualBox disk image, then click Next. Step number 6. Select on how the physical hard drive be used. Select Dynamically Allocated, then click Next. Step number 7. Name the new virtual machine drive with the name of the OS and set it to 32GB as the recommended size. Then click Create. Step number 8. At SATA port 1, under the Storage Settings, click the empty optical drive to insert a disk file. Step number 9. Locate your ISO or disk image file. Then click Start to begin the installation process. Oracle VM VirtualBox will now start creating your virtual machine by installing Windows 7 operating system. After creating a Windows 7 virtual machine, minimize the window and start creating another virtual machine for Windows Server 2008. Next, let's create Windows Server 2008 virtual machine. Step number 1. Click New to add a new virtual machine. Step number 2. Name the virtual machine, select the type and its version, then click Next. Step number 3. Set the memory to the recommended size which is 512 MB, then click Next. Step number 4. Create your virtual hard disk. Select the second option, create a virtual hard disk now. Then, click Create. Step number 5. Select the hard drive file type. Select the VDI or VirtualBox disk image. Then, click Next. Step number 6. Select on how the physical hard drive be used. Select Dynamically Allocated. Then, click Next. Step number 7. Name the new virtual machine drive with the name of the OS and set it to 32GB as the recommended size. Then click Create. Step number 8. At SATA port 1, under the Storage Settings, click the empty optical drive to insert a disk file. Step number 9. Locate your ISO or disk image file. Then click Start to begin the installation process. Oracle VM VirtualBox will now start creating your virtual machine by installing Windows Server 2008 operating system. We now have successfully created two virtual machines. We now have Windows 7 and Windows Server 2008 running on a Windows 10 operating system host computer. 
Next, let's try to connect both operating system in one network. All you need to do is to add an IP address to both OS and make sure to set the network settings of the virtual box into internet or internal network. Also, make sure to turn on the network discovery option at the network and internet settings. So, as you can see, both operating systems are now connected to one network. You may shut down both virtual machines and run it anytime you want. Just open the Oracle VM virtual box and click the start button. Thank you for watching!